Hi, I'm Mark from Typhon Airsoft. We're here tonight doing some practical shooting with the guys from Attack Sense Targets. Hi, I'm Rob from Attack Sense. Our system is a Wi-Fi controlled target system. Electronic targets uh, with a tough cover to them. Uh, LED indicator shows a shoot or no shoot and all the data is fed back to the app in real time. So practical shooting is a shooting sport that involves shooting multiple targets from multiple positions in as short a time as possible. Uh, the scoring is all to do with speed and accuracy. The attack sense system is, is great for something like practical shooting because you can position all the targets where you want. You can then set up sectors and create a, a shooting scenario exactly how you want it. Practical shooting is all about uh, measuring time, accuracy, split times. Well, the attack sense system it records all the data and that data can be analysed from split time, reaction time against each player. Uh, this evening we've been using 18 targets in seven sectors. The round builder in the app is, is a really great function, so you can create sectors. You set up your targets where you want, group them, and then you'd go around and then to create a sector, uh, press a function that will illuminate all the targets. You then tap each target to, to form that sector, save it, move on to the next sector, creating a sequence. You can reuse targets in each sector so that you can have multiple uh, activities within the round. That means that if you only have something like 10 targets, you can actually have up to 20, 30 or 40 shoot scenarios. So with practical shooting, normally we're shooting at paper targets, uh, metal targets and plastic targets that fall over. So for an evening like tonight where we've got probably 10, 15 people shooting, after every person shoots, we need to go around and stand the targets up, put stickers on, count, and it takes a long time to reset each course of fire after we've shot it. So with the attack sense, although we're not able to test the accuracy in the same way that we can with paper targets, because of the different size targets, we can simulate the other types of targets but we have zero turnaround time and we can put more rounds down range which, and we're capturing that data. That's the important part of the advantages that attack sense give us over the more traditional systems. Well, the attack sense system is ideal for practical shooting because it records all the data and that data can be analysed from split time, reaction time against each player and each player can then see over a period of time or rounds how they're improving through the graphical interface. So the app data allows us to monitor um, our reaction time. So if we're firing a pistol, we would have to draw the pistol out of the holster, acquire the target, sights on target, pull the trigger. With the normal uh, targets, although we can time that, um, it then becomes more difficult without using a shot timer to calculate all these bits and pieces. Is the app covers three or four different tools that we would have used in the past. And with the reset times being non-existent and the fact that we can change the course of fire on the fly using the custom round builder and being able to adapt the sectors as we need them uh, on, between shoots almost, it gives us much more flexibility and allows us to, to shoot more during a session. The attack sense system we've now been using for around nine months and pretty much every time we pull them out we find something new that we can do with them. One of the things that I particularly like about attack sense is the fact that the guys are constantly updating both the hardware and the software. The app seems to get updated at least monthly and they're very open to what the community, the shooting community, ask for and adapt the app constantly. The hardware, they seem to be coming up with new innovations um, very regularly. There's new target sizes, 
and there's new options just on the horizon. So from our perspective, the system's developing all the time and they, they're not sitting back on their laurels and saying, we've done a great product. They're constantly innovating and coming up with new ideas, plus coming out and supporting clubs like ours to show us the potential of their system as well. So they're not distant from us. They're very community-based and listen to the shooting community and react to our feedback.